Hello friends and welcome back to a vlog-ish thing. To be honest, this is going to be more like a hair tutorial chit chat conversation. So earlier this week I was vlogging and I decided that I wanted to kind of go in depth on how I get my hair to look like this, how I get this beautiful blonde streak in the front of my hair because I do it all myself. So I ended up deciding to take it out of the vlog and make it its own separate thing because I feel like there's a lot of good information out there if you're trying to make your hair look like this or if you just want to hear more about my hair journey in general, some fun stories and that kind of thing, this is the video for you. So let's go back a couple days to before I got my hair to look this beautiful shiny blonde loveliness and I can show you how I got there. I've decided it's time to re-bleach the roots on my little blonde bit at the front because it's about a centimeter done so it is time and it's looking a little bit yellow so I, I think I could use some of it and I haven't washed my hair in a few days so it's the perfect time but I need to go to Superdrug to get myself some more bleach because I don't have any more so let's just quickly go to Superdrug and then we can hang out and bleach my hair together <laughs> We're gonna get to the fun part where I have to section out all of the blonde bits of my hair. So I'm only bleaching, bleaching the blonde part, right? So this is probably what is the most annoying thing about having my hair bleached like this. So like I kind of do a, a general parting, like a really, really, really rough one. And then I can go in and refine it a little bit and I basically use one of these like rat tail combs to get all of the right hairs on the right side doing this bit is the hardest part um, just because it's hard for me to see <laughs> the top of my head <laughs> Like, y'all can see it much better than I can. And maybe I just need to suck it up and do it. I mean, I always just suck it up and do it, but... Basically, just go through and take out all these brown hairs without doing any of the blonde ones. It's hard because I've got gray hairs in here as well, so sometimes I can't tell if it's blonde or gray. You can see all of my grays there, which I don't mind at all. I don't have a problem with having gray hair. It doesn't bother me at all. And it's like, it's pretty close to a straight line, that line. Oh, I can actually see it quite well, like that. It's much harder to see in the mirror. Um, but it's basically a straight line. Um, a couple little notches in it, but that's okay. And I'm honestly not too picky about it. The whole reason why I have only this section of my hair blonde in the first place is because I can't see the back of my head. <laughs> and I can't be bothered to bleach my roots when I can't see the back of my head. So, this is like the maximum I can see without having like weird mirror tricks that I need to do. Okay, I feel like that is pretty good and like if it's not perfect it really doesn't matter that's the joy of this because you really never see this parting on my head because I'm never wearing my hair in this like weird 
weird part there. This is what I'm more concerned about. But honestly, even if that's not straight, I'm not too worried about it. So I just keep this bundled up and I go in and fix these clips and stuff. So it pulls my hair like away from the parting as much as possible. And it's kind of painful because you kind of have to pull it quite tight in order to get that nice straight line, but it's worth it to um, not weird like blonde patches in my brown, <laughs> unintentional blonde patches I should say. Right, let's move to the bathroom. Oh, actually, we need to move to the kitchen first so I can mix up some bleach because I don't use an entire packet. Oh, that was really attractive. <laughs> I don't use an entire packet nor an entire bottle of the developer. So I think I use about half and half um, because if I'm just doing the roots on just this tiny section, that should be plenty to get my hair done. So I bought this 30 volume developer and I do have some 40 already so I think I might mix them because then we'll get like 35 volume it doesn't really matter too too much I know you're not supposed to use super high volume on your roots but I do because it like my hair takes a minute to blonde so that should be fine and there is 75 mil in each of these so I'm going to use about 37 mil total of the developer And then in this box of bleach, there's like several sachets. And I just put half of one of these. So half of 25 grams is 12 and a half grams. And then I just close this up. Um, and save it for another time with a little bulldog clip. And then we can mix, mix, mix. start bleaching my hair. Right, so I have this mirror. Ooh, I can open it. I never thought of that. I've just been kneeling on my toilet this whole time in order to see, like get in close with it. But I like to use this mirror more than the one over the sink back there. Can you even see it? Yeah, that, that mirror there, um, because I just can't get close enough to it to be able to see what I'm doing well enough. So this mirror it is, and we can go in and bleach my hair. Um, so I like to start on this top bit because this is the part that you see the most. And so I wanna make sure that it is um, as bleaching as possible and you have to be like really careful around the roots so as to not get it on the other side now I go in from the bottom I don't know why I started at the bottom I just do um, and maybe a little bit further up. Um, get all of my sideburn because that grows in quite a lot. <laughs> and I'm taking like literally the tiniest little sections because bleach doesn't lather and so it's, um, I don't know why this is a hair tutorial now, but <laughs> bleach doesn't lather. So do y'all remember when my hair was like 
all the way blonde. Um, that, I, bas I basically, I used to get that done for free actually, um, because I was scouted in, <laughs> um, in, the, in my local co-op. It was like some random Sunday evening and <laughs> this sounds like such a weird story. Um, and co-op was the only shop around me that's open on Sunday evenings and I think Joe and I were like wanting a snack. And so we went to the co-op. Get out of my face. Um, we went to the co-op and there was this guy and he was just like staring at us and we were like, mm, this is a little bit weird. Um, but after a while, he decided, the guy, to come up to us. And we were both there just like, mm, this is weird. Um, but he came up to us and he was like, I love your hair. Like, can I, can I cut your hair? And I was just like, I mean, yeah. I didn't have particularly long hair at the time. Um, and so I didn't really have a hair dresser in London that normally did my hair. Um, and so I was like, sure, why not? And it turned out he worked for Sassoon, which is a hair school, hair doing school. Um, not like a cosmetology place, but like an advanced hair school um and he was a teacher at Sassoon and so he then cut my hair for free um and like as a demo as part of a class and so I kind of learned how to cut hair a little bit just by like going to these demos by being in the chair <laughs> um but then also stay there also, uh, I was able to get my bleach at the time for free. Excuse this this mirror can't stay. Um, <laughs> this is really annoying. Maybe this is why I don't do it with the mirror open. <laughs> um, but I was able to get my bleach done at the time for free because I um, was uh, like a model for them, which was kind of awesome. Um, but the catch was that it was always students doing my bleaching, which I don't really mind because they obviously have instructors that are monitoring them and making sure that they're doing the right stuff, but I learned so, so much just by going and observing and watching how they bleached hair. Um, that I just, I felt confident enough to do it on my own. That being said, I think I used to, like, I have bleached my hair on my own before, like a really long time ago, but I would always um, bleach it and then dye it a color. I've had my hair like pretty much, not every color under the sun, but a lot of different colors before. And so, and so, oh my gosh, what was I gonna say? <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> um, I've had my hair many different colors. And so whenever I bleached it, it didn't have to be like perfect, perfect because I was just covering it with a color. I didn't need to worry about it being like not yellow or like a tiny bit patchy. Obviously I didn't want it to be patchy, but like it was okay if it was. Whereas when you're blonde, you want to be blonde. So it's like a little bit more, a little bit more effort in there. I've had my hair like all the different colors in the past. Um, mostly blue, purple, green kind of things because I am cool toned. And so that's kind of what I prefer. I've never really been a pink person. I just worry <laughs> that Pink would match my skin tone just a little bit too much because I'm very fair and I've got pink undertones. So just pink has not been a color for me. Honestly, when my hair is this like half and half thing, 
I do feel the most like myself. Like I had it just plain brown for quite a long time, like my natural color. And I don't know, I just felt really boring. And I know it's not boring. And anybody else, I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, your hair's boring. No, it's not. But on me, it felt like it wasn't alt enough or like weird enough or something. And maybe like, and maybe I find that because I feel like I'm a bit of a weirdo. Um, I'm literally filming myself doing my hair on the internet and this is heavily attractive stuff here. Um, but, um, um, so like if my hair is weird, people will like already assume that I'm a bit of a weirdo as opposed to finding it out when I'm talking to them. I don't know, I just don't like normal hair on me. I think it's a bit boring for me. Um, my arm gets so tired doing this. You can already see where it's lifted on my main part there. Um, but we gotta put more bleach down. Cause it kind of comes off a little bit. And I'm actually gonna get a piece of cling film just to put over the top of it so it doesn't dry out. in not down just in so I'm not pushing it onto the non bleached hair and now we wait many many minutes later right so it has been 40 minutes now and you can see it's definitely expanded which is fairly normal for bleach so I'm just gonna take the plastic off and throw it away. And I know I probably shouldn't touch this with my fingers, but I'm gonna, um, just to get an idea of the color in there. It's definitely still a little bit yellow, but I don't wanna leave the bleach on much longer than the 45 minutes that is recommended. So I'm just going to take it off. And I, I know I always have a little bit more of yellow roots, so it's fine. I'm going to hop in the shower now and wash this with shampoo. And we can see what the color's looking like. I'm definitely gonna tone it, um, but we'll see how much I need to tone it um, once I've washed this bleach out. So honestly, the color on here is pretty good. Probably one of the better bleaching sessions I've had because sometimes it comes out like this color. Um, because this is where I used to have dye on my hair that like very bottom chunk, which I'm desperately in need of a haircut at this point. But yeah, sometimes it comes out much darker than this, but today it is very light. I'm gonna let it dry all the way before I tone it though so I can get like a better idea of the sort of color that we're working with um, before I before I put a tiny bit of toner in here. Um, and I'm basically gonna use like purple shampoo, <laughs> basically or purple, con pur purple conditioner, I think would probably be better. Um, and I didn't wash the rest of my hair. I left it in its like bun because I'm still not ready to um, unseparate this bit. Though it doesn't really matter if it's super separated now because if I'm just gonna tone it, 
the toner won't work on um, my brown hair so it doesn't really matter if it's separated at this point but I've already I've already done the hard work in separating it I may as well just keep all of this in one piece and the rest of it out of the way so I will come back in a couple of hours when it is drier and we can tone it together two hours later all right I think my hair is dry enough at this point it is not fully dry yet um, but I genuinely can't wait any longer to tone it um, because I don't want to so let's go mix up some toner and I kind of just eyeball this to be honest <laughs> um, I know you're probably not supposed to do that but such is life it'll be fine I mean honestly this is probably one of the best bleaches I've had in a while like I almost don't even need to do anything but I would prefer a little bit more cool than yellow so just a little bit so I'm just gonna use the same bowl as before and in this is not actually this stuff I have um, essentially mixed conditioner and purple hair dye together several times um, to make this little mix and I don't know if that will be enough probably I might have a little bit of normal conditioner as well um, but that just um, lightens it up a bit because I don't want it to be too purple like I, w I mean I don't mind when my hair turns out like a lavender color but I prefer when it's more like gray blonde so like that color would be good now let's get it in my hair and I suppose I should probably wear gloves for this but um, I'm not gonna um, because it's pretty clear I mean this very well might do nothing like I don't feel it mm. maybe I'll add a little bit more purple because I feel like putting it on it looks like it's gonna do absolutely nothing which is like fine but I would like it to tone something. Yeah, that's better. Just ever so slightly purple. And do the roots first because that's the bit of my hair that needs it the most. And then I am gonna go through all the way to the end with this. So the reason why I didn't wear gloves with my bleach even though I probably should, is because I was only ever touching the ends of my hair, which were not getting bleach on them. If I was bleaching all the way to the ends, I would wear gloves because I wouldn't want to be handling super, super bleachy hair with my raw fingers. Occasionally, I wiped it off with, um, a finger but I would immediately kind of rinse that and it would be fine and you don't need to be as precise with toner because it just kind of blends all up in there and since this is mostly conditioner it will be conditioning my hair as well just on the roots and I will leave this to sit for maybe five, 10 minutes and then come back and do my ends. 11 minutes later. Okay, back to my hair. I think it's been about 10, 15 minutes and I am just, oh, I should probably wear a glove for this. I, I really hate wearing gloves because I feel like I don't have any dexterity in my hands. It probably doesn't help that I use the like really terrible gloves from hair dye packs which are awful <laughs> um, but I'm gonna like basically scrape this on the rest of my hair um, in no real fashion I'm literally just gonna paint it on and squidge it around it's like immensely saturated in there um, 
I basically just twist this up and pull a little bun on my head and clip it down and let it sit for another 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> really attractive video. I can throw away this glove. And once this has been sitting for plenty of time, I'm gonna like go wash my whole head and maybe not wash, I won't wash this bit, I'll rinse this bit out because it's good conditioner basically, but I need to wash the rest of my hair because uh, it's been a few days since <laughs> time. 20 minutes later. So it's ever so slightly more purple than I might have wanted. And you can see that the ends, they just don't take anything. They're, they're a little bit grayer, but not much. But honestly, this purple probably fade out quite quickly. And in the meantime, I don't really mind it being purple. I prefer it to be purple than for it to be yellow. So happy with this. Honestly, I am immensely happy with how this turned out. It obviously looks a lot less purple when it's dry. There's still bits that are a little bit more on the purple side, but it is much more silvery blonde now that it is dried out. You can see definitely where the bottom doesn't take the toner as much and I've tried bleaching these ends tons of times. I think at this point it might just be time for a chop to get them off so I can have like fresh bleached blonde most of the time but I am really really happy with the results. Honestly this has been one of the best um like colors I've had fresh out of bleaching my hair in quite a long time so I'm really really pleased with it and I'm really glad that it turned out so well <laughs> when I was filming this video because I am super duper pleased with it. I just feel so much more like myself um, when my hair is beautiful and split done because it, I don't know it just feels like me so I'm really really happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up down below, comment. Um, do you do your own hair? Do you get it done? I love doing my own hair. I really, really enjoy it. Like I swear in a different universe, I am a hairdresser because I love doing my own hair. I love doing other people's hair. It is just so much fun. So yeah. And also don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content. I figured why not? I'm this is a vlog channel. I can talk about whatever I want on here. May as well put out a random hair tutorial. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, subscribe for fun vlog life, life content. And yeah, I will see you in an upcoming vlog probably very soon.